Hey everyone, welcome to Math Molecules. If you are a teacher and wondering how to make your online assessments fun and interesting for your students, then this tutorial is just for you. Today we will be exploring how to create quiz or assessments using quizzes. Let me first tell you what is quizzes. Quizzes is a website which lets you create gamified way of presenting quizzes or assessments for every subject. You can pick an existing quiz or create your own. Let's see how to create your own assessment super fast using quizzes. The first step is to go to quizzes.com. You might have to sign up. You can use your existing Google account or any email ID. Here I have already created an account, so I will sign in with my account. I have now logged into my quizzes account and you can see here various subjects are listed mathematics, English and language arts, social studies, world languages, science and so on. You can use any of these existing quizzes and share it with your students either online, live or assign it as homework. I would be discussing about these two options in the later part of my video. First, let's try creating a new quiz. Click on the option create a new quiz. Type in a name, quiz trial. I'm typing it as quiz trial here. Subject, as I'm a max teacher, I would choose this subject as mathematics. The rest of the subjects are listed here. You can choose any of it. Here are the options, what type of questions you would like to choose, multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blank, poll or open-ended. Now for questions like multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blanks, you can feed in the answer key and the system itself would check the answers and award them points. But for open-ended questions, it wouldn't be grading them automatically. We can manually check it and give them grades. I will choose the multiple choice type first. I can type the question here. Since I'm a maths teacher, I would be typing something from maths. And the best part is we have a mathematical editor inbuilt in it so that we can use our formulae, symbols and equations we require in mathematics. Let me just try typing some fractions. Let's just try this. So the question has come here. Options also, you can use the mathematical editor. Okay, so I will have to give the answer key here so that the system knows this is the correct answer and award the students points accordingly. And I just have to click on save. You can also adjust the timer 30 seconds. If you want to give them more time or less time, you can adjust accordingly and save. Then new question. Maybe this time I'll try out the checkbox option. All integers are whole numbers. True. False. Not known. So the answer is false. I would give away the answer key and hit on save. So these two questions are ready. Now the other option is you can export certain questions from the existing quiz. Let's try that. You can try searching for the topics.
and pick any question which you feel you would like to add it to your quiz. Or if I want to go to some other quiz and check out few more questions, then I can do that. Add this. Then I go to some other question quiz and if I like that, I would simply go ahead and add it. So all these questions have been imported to my quiz. It's that simple to create quizzes. In minutes, you can create your entire quiz. Now my quiz is ready. Here I see two options, play live, assign homework. Play live, I can use this option if I want my students to play during the live session when I take live classes online. In that case, you can choose the option of play live. If you want to assign it as homework where they can do it later at their own pace, then you may choose this option. You can decide on the duration till when your quiz is open and then students attempts. How many attempts can your student make? If you choose only one, then the student might have to create a login ID. But for unlimited attempts, they are not required to create a login ID. And then there are various settings. Something very interesting about this quizzes is memes. A meme appears after every right or wrong answer. There are already default memes given here. You can choose from that. I have created my own meme here, which you can do from this section of memes. You can go ahead and create your own memes. Okay, let me go back to my quizzes. All your quizzes are saved in my quizzes. So I'm going to assign it as homework and then continue. I get a link. So what I can do is share this link. If you are using Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, any of these, you can directly share this link or I can go ahead and copy this link paste it and send it across as a mail, WhatsApp, or my own LMS, what I'm using for my classrooms. In case if you would like to give it as a live quiz, let me show you that option also. Click on play live, continue. And you just have to give them this link, joinmyquiz.com. And for the students, it might ask them for a game code. You will also have to give them the game code. So they would enter the game code and start the quiz. So let's see how this quiz appears for the students. Let's try it out ourselves. Click on play. It takes you to the quiz. Play quiz. It shows the memes after correct or wrong answers. It also shows the leaderboard. It shows the rank here and the points code. You have the option to turn on or off the music. And finally, you can sum it. So now you can engage your students with this fun quiz gaming. I hope this video was helpful to you. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching Math Molecules.